In this video, we'll have a look at creating variables in MATLAB, in other words, assigning values to variables, and then some basic math operations. So, uh, creating variables is very straightforward, uh, and differently from some other programming languages, when you create a variable, you don't have to predefine its type. Uh, the type, whether it's numeric, uh, character, or so on, gets kind of uh, recognized once you create that variable. Then MATLAB, from the way you create it, understands what is happening. And to create variables, we use so-called assignment operator. Assignments is the equality sign in MATLAB, and it basically means that to a specific variable we assign a value. So, for instance, I would like to create a variable x and I assign value, let's say, 5 to it. So this is how we cre I create variable x and I give it a value. You, can't, you cannot just create variable without giving it a value unless you work with symbolic variables. And this is the rare case where in MATLAB then you have to declare it's symbolic. Uh, but that's a separate topic. In here we just talk about uh, other types of variables than symbolic. So when I press enter, MATLAB creates variable x, informs us that it gave it value 5. We can see it both displayed here in the command window and in the workspace. Uh, this works the same as with any other types of commands. You can create multiple things uh, at the same time. So let's say I'll create also variable y and give it a value, and then z with some yet other value. So all these uh, are now in our workspace, and now when there is more of those you can also see again how how the clear command works so for instance if i don't want any more uh, variable y let's say i can tell matlab to clear y so after i press enter y will disappear from our workspace but x and z will still remain so that's exactly what has happened and if i want to clear my entire workspace i can do it all at once by using clear all of which uh, will make it so that both x and z will be wiped out from the workspace. Okay, and if I want to have a clean slate also on my whiteboard, CLC clears the window. Uh, once you've created variables, you can also do mathematical operations on them, and that's uh, relatively intuitive when compared to other uh, other softwares. So uh, addition is with the plus sign, subtraction with a dash, multiplication is with the asterisk. Uh, when it comes to division, uh, there is something called right division and left division. So the right one, which is in here, is the one we know normally. So 5 divided by 3 is something that we would write also in other ways, like this. Uh, however, there is also left division, which we do with the backslash, and that's kind of uh, division the other way. So if you type 5 backslash 3, it actually means 3 divided by 5. Uh, it's not very intuitive to do it, to use it in basic math, but it does have a specific use when we start working with actual matrices, uh, because that would, for instance, mean uh, multiplying by an inverse matrix. Uh, then there is the exponentiation. Uh, the symbol is the hat. So, for instance, five power three we we'll type as 5 hat 3, which basically means the result is 125. And same as in school math, we have to remember 
that the priority of operations is very specific. Uh, so, for instance, uh, exponentiation has higher priority than uh, multiplication and, and division, and yet those have higher priority than addition and subtraction. So, for instance, if we wrote this kind of expression 3 times 5 minus 2, and we didn't have the parentheses here, that would actually mean MATLAB would calculate it as 15 minus 2, which is 13, and that's a different result than 3 times 5 minus 2, so this is 9. So you have to be very careful when you put in formulas that you actually uh, watch the priorities. So that's very common if you have uh, some expression with a big, big uh, factor, so let's say uh, 10 plus 15 and divided by 12 plus 30. Uh, this one, if you want to put it correctly in MATLAB so that it actually gives you the result of this, you have to remember the parentheses 10 plus 15. Uh, and then divided by 12 plus 30. Uh, if you don't put the parentheses, that would end up being 10 plus 15 divided by 12 and plus 30. So it's a different result. Uh, let's open a new script and put in a few things, so I'll save it right away. Okay, so uh, it has a name and let's put in a few things that we had in there, so we have some variable x uh, some variable y and then we want to calculate something more so let's say variable z so always when you create variables you can either assign values directly like I did with x and y or that can be actually a result of calculation whether from directly from given numerical values or also using previously defined uh, variables so I could do here, for instance, x plus, uh, plus y divided by uh, 5, let's say. So here, since x and y are defined in my code before z is being calculated, then here everything is fine. And when I execute it, then what will happen is uh, we have the semicolons here after x and y, which means that we will not see those assignments here in command window, but we will see their values in workspace. And then the z result, since there is no semicolon here at the end, it will pop up both in the command window and it will appear also in, in the workspace. So let's run this. And there it is. The z result is only here, but everything else is in the workspace. And just to keep things clear, I will have my clearing commands here at the beginning of the file. Uh, of course, math is not as simple as just this. Uh, there are many different things and uh, a bit more compu uh, complicated operations. So there's a whole bunch of uh, ready functions in MATLAB, predefined ones. Uh, so uh, feel free to use them, for instance, for square root, we have the square, and this will give you naturally the first feel of how to use functions in MATLAB. So uh, the function will have its name, and after the name in brackets we give the input arguments, so we give those things on which that function is supposed to do some job. So for instance, if I want to calculate square root of something, 
uh, I would type here SQRT and that of something of what I have to give in the brackets and let's say we check 9, that's a simple one, we don't have to think too long that the result should be 3, so that's what MATLAB shows us. As you can see, I didn't assign this calculation to anything, so once again we see the ANS variable being uh, a default answer. Uh, sometimes functions have more than one input variable, for instance nth root, that means that it's not just square root, it can be the root of any uh, any power, for instance root of power 3 from 8 should be 2, because 2 power 3 is 8, so if I wanted to check it, uh, I would use nth root, and then their order has to be correct, so x should be our um, the value or the number from which we want the root, and n is the power of the root. So if I put 8 and 3, that should give answer 2. And it does. And uh, there is a bunch of others, so you can uh, check them yourself. There is x for exponential, uh, so it's e power x, basically, uh, there's abs for absolute value, so for instance absolute value of minus 2 is 2, uh, log, uh, th this is quite specific, log in MATLAB is actually the natural logarithm, so the one which in textbooks, in math and other applications we use it is actually ln, and what in math textbooks is log, in MATLAB is actually uh, log 10, so that's the logarithm with base 10. Uh, then there's factorial, so that's multiplication of many uh, consecutive uh, natural numbers, so for instance factorial 5 in math we write like this, and that basically means 1 uh, times 2 times 3 times 4 and times 5. Uh, perm is something with creating permutations of, of uh, integers. Uh, that's something to check from help. Uh, sine, cosine, so the classical trigonometric functions. Uh, you have to remember that uh, the angle from which we calculate sine, cosine or the tangent uh, can be expressed either in radians or degrees. If it is in radians, for instance, uh, 180 degrees in radians is pi. So if you want to express, or if, if you um, have your degrees, uh, have your angle in degrees and you don't want to have to convert it yourself to radians, you can directly use this function sine d, which stands for sine of degrees. And it's the same case for cosine, then there's the tangent and cotangent functions. Uh, then there is a few rounding uh, possibilities, so if you need to round some results, uh, round x is basic, uh, basic uh, rounding, which means uh, when it's between uh, specific integer and less than 0 0.5, the, the, the decimal, then it rounds down, and if when it's from 0 0.5 up, then it rounds to the next uh, integer to the right. Uh, ceiling always rounds to the right, so to the higher one. Floor always rounds to the lower one. And then fix is a specific, it always rounds towards zero, so it actually works like uh, like ceiling for negative numbers, uh, and it works like floor for positive numbers. Uh, I think it's, it, there must be some very specific applications where this might be used. I, can't remember using it myself, but still it exists. And uh, how things are displayed in MATLAB. So 
you have to get used to this very specific way. If you, when you operate just on integers and individual variables, like these two, three, then they just appear the way it is. But if you have any decimal values, the default is so-called short format, which shows uh, the integer part and then four decimals after it. So even if the decimal part here from second up to fourth is zero, MATLAB will still show them uh, in that way. Uh, there is also format long, so if you want to change format, you can, for instance, type it in here uh, in the command window. So I say format long, and then I will ask for my variable z. If you uh, if you ask for a variable which is still in the integer, then it will be displayed the same way. But if you ask for a variable which actually has some decimal values, then format long actually means uh, that now we see 15 uh, places uh, of the decimal. So once again, if there are zeros, they will still be displayed. Uh, the format which might be more pleasant to see for, uh, especially for people with financial background, would be the bank, uh, because that's the one where you want you would see your values like as if you would be seeing money. So, if I say format bank, that means it on, only rounds it to two decimals. So my Z will now be three point eighty. Uh, it's okay uh, to use it when, uh, for instance, when you solve some exercises where you calculate something related to money, but otherwise you should rather get used to that four-digit short format, which is the default. Every time you close MATLAB and boot it up again, uh, the format resets to the default, which is short. So in case you want to see your results in any other way, you have to change it every time you start MATLAB new. And of course that list of functions uh, which was presented there is just a very small sample. There's plenty of them in help. You can find descriptions, uh, the syntax, how to call specific functions and the most important the examples, the demos, how to call them uh, for specific numerical examples and, and what kind of results they bring. So uh using using the examples from help is a very nice way to learn uh we could we could have a quick look um uh, for instance at uh sign function And let's see if there is any more functionality than it can have. Actually, no. So there's only one way to use sign function. You you sign and you give that variable from which you want to calculate that value. Uh, how about n fruit? That's also just one way. It might be that for the basic math function, it's really hard to find examples where uh, there will be multiple ways to to make use of a function. But as we move on, there, there will be more. So uh, once or when when we create variables, we have to remember the basic rules for naming them, and they are exactly the same as the rules for naming files. Uh, in, that you save in the editor. So let's just repeat it because they are so crucial for you not to get frustrated when you try to write a code and then uh, something is wrong. So remember that the variable names must begin with a letter and not, not a digit. But they can contain letters, digits uh, and underscore character only. They cannot contain any other special characters nor spaces. Uh, remember also that MATLAB is case sensitive, so a small a and capital A are actually two different variables. Uh, and you should avoid using 
some names which are either names of built-in functions in MATLAB, so like sine, cosine, x, and so on, or keywords that do some specific things. And then again, those predefined variables like unspy, eps, infinity, um, ij for the complex numbers, and not a number. Uh, let's have a look at some things what can go wrong when, when you, for instance, when you actually don't follow the rules. So if I forget it and I want to name a variable uh, c1 with a space and then that it equals let's say 6, you can already see that there's something wrong just by the color coding. Uh, but let's say uh, there are still give it a try and run it. So now MATLAB says undefined function or variable c. Now there would be even if C was defined, maybe let's, I will change it uh, and call it X. So even, for instance, I think I'm creating variable X1, but there is a space. So even though now X was defined, the error will be different. Uh, and it says that there is some conflicting, uh, conflict. So the, the reason is that uh, basically the space. So MATLAB is confused. Should there be a comma after that x and then some other command in there or, or is that x1 altogether? Uh, with the previous case where there was a c, the error said undefined functional variable x. So yes, in this case MATLAB just thinks that you're trying to refer to a variable which already exists uh, and since it doesn't exist because it's not there in the workspace, we haven't declared it anywhere, so it's not possible. Uh, what else can be, can happen? Mm. Yes, if you, for instance, maybe like this, if you use, uh, let's say I call a variable sign and give it a value, so let's say I wanted to give this name, but later on in my code I actually want to calculate sine of uh, sine of pi, let's say, which should be zero, the result. But now what will happen? Let, maybe let's run first and see the error, and then let's uh, try to think what's the reason. Uh, this uh, was executed, so MATLAB did create variable sine uh, with value 7. But that means that from this very moment, uh, the sign function, which is defined built in MATLAB, loses its functionality. So now MATLAB doesn't know sign as a function, sign function anymore. It, it thinks sign is number seven. And so uh, there's a whole series of complications here now when we try to calculate sine pi. Uh, now this error which it actually says uh, is that uh, array indices must be positive integers or logical values. Now because uh, in this way when this is a variable and we put something in brackets uh, this moves us some few lectures ahead when we'll be talking about vectors and matrices because MATLAB thinks we are trying to access an element of vector or matrix called sign. And since sine is just a single number, it doesn't have more values than one, uh, then this can be done. And even more, when you try to access elements, you cannot access element 3.14. You could access element uh, third one or fourth one, but not 3.14. So actually, even this, this is the main reason of, of this error. But the, or the, the main kind of message of this error, but the main reason, the only reason in here is that we have changed the meaning of sign. So please be careful. One of the most common mistakes is using name sum when you're summing up something of your own and then later in the code you want to actually use function sum with which we can add elements of, of vectors or, or matrices. So I think these are the most, most common uh, things that can go wrong when you do simple assignment. Oh yeah, well, there may, there's one more that, that actually... Uh, 
is also relatively or very important and pops up surprisingly often. Uh, of course, in math, when we write on paper and assign variables, uh, I mean, when you write equations, you can say x equal 5. And this, on paper, basically means that there is equivalence between the two things. So you could equally well say 5 equals x, because it is true that if, if, if this is a result of an equation. But in MATLAB, Remember, this is not comparison, that that x equals 5. No, this means that we give this value to this variable. So it's only one-way thing. And so the value we are giving always have to be on the right-hand side. And the address, that location to which, or the name to which we give this value, has to be on the left-hand side. And this is much more natural in R, uh, where the assignment operator can either be the equality sign or this kind of error, uh, sorry, arrow. So then it is, yes, this 5, this value gets assigned, so we point that it gets placed in variable x. Uh, so if you this, do this mistake, uh, in MATLAB and, for instance, write 6 equal, equals x, where you mean that you want to create variable x with value 6, what happens is that uh, incorrect use of assignment operator to assign a value use uh, this, but to compare values use double. So we will get to the comparison once we look at logical operations. but. Uh, Basically, it just means you wrote it uh, the wrong way. So, that would be all about the basic mathematical expressions.